Greetings once again. I hope and pray that for many of you, that you are getting ready as it is here, preparation day. You are getting ready for the Sabbath. Today also is a day that we have been talking about for the past few weeks as we've been making a series dealing with the Pope consecration to Russia. And we have been uh, exposing this, I meant to say the Pope consecration, consecrating Russia to Mary. And we have been making a series of this. We have been talking about it and exposing the agenda of the enemy. But as we also know that the, the devil is busy working. Now, in this video, this is my second appeal to Advent Messenger and the Roman and even a New Life Mission. If you don't know what New Life Mission is, we'll talk about this more. New Life Mission is connected with Advent Messenger. This is another appeal based on a recent article that Andy Roman published responding to our video that we made yesterday with an appeal. Now keep in mind, the video we made yesterday was an appeal to a brother, to a friend, and to make things right. Another point to keep in mind is that, that Andy Roman never reach out to me before he went to YouTube. Now, in the article, again, that he published, he accused me and Amazing Word Ministries uh, of plagiarism, of plagiarizing his work and the work of Advent Messenger. As I stated yesterday, this channel is not my channel. It's not my ministries. It's God's ministry. And it's been around for 12 years. It has stood the tempest and storm that the enemy has been throwing at it. The world, the uh, General Conference, they have all tried to get rid of this channel. And as I stated yesterday, it was taken down, was supposed to be completely gone, deleted for uh, since uh, 2020. October 2020, but God restored this channel. And this channel has been a torn in the side of the General Conference. They hate this channel because we have been exposing so many things. Another point to remember is that who is Andy Roman? I consider him a friend and a brother. Now, in the article that he published, he mentioned a conversation that he had with me, private conversation, mind you, in 2018. Now, again, you could see where this is going. Now, he is sharing private information that him and I had to the public. Now, this is what is called, well, if you cannot get them one way, let's get them another way. This is where it starts going into character assassination. Now, I will spare myself and God's people, and for the sake of the gospel of Jesus Christ, from sharing private information about Andy Roman, which I know a lot of, but I will not go there because both the Bible and Spirit of Prophecy counseled us not to do this. The purpose of this video, one more time, is a second appeal to Advent Messenger, Andy Roman, and New Life Mission. Now, what Andy Roman is trying to do as well with this article is once again split the Church of God, causing division and trying to get people to take side. As a matter of fact, some are already taking side. They are already uh, accusing me of this and that, siding with Andy Roman. That's fine. But remember what Jesus, how Jesus rebuked the disciples, how the disciples were fighting for position. Remember what Paul also says, that uh, what is it among you saying, I am of Apollos, I am of Cephas, I am of Paul, is Christ divided? Whenever we see this, this is division, because the action that was taken by Andy Roman 
an Advent messenger is not Christ-like. In the article that he published, he's going by the principles of the laws of the land, not the principles of God. He even accused me in the article of stealing. Yes, that's the word that he used, stealing his quote-unquote work. Now notice it is his work, not Christ's work. I thought we're supposed to be working for Jesus Christ. I thought this is supposed to be Christian ministry. So if it is your work, then Christ is not in it. As I mentioned, he is doing a work of dividing us into two positions, polarizing present truth more specifically into two groups, some to side with him, some to side with me. I did not ask anybody to side with me. I have tried several attempts, emails, text messages, and phone calls to try to reach to the brother according to what the Bible says to do. But he ignored all of those things. And I followed the counsel, not the counsel, but the advice that YouTube says, instead of taking this to the law, you can reach out to the person who has filed that claim against you and to try to set things in order to work things out, which by the way, what YouTube says is very uh, similar to what the Bible tells us to reach out to another brother. Now, again, as I mentioned, dividing us into two groups. As one example here on the screen, this person says that I am false, I am plagiarized, I have plagiarized their work, and I deserve to be censored on YouTube. Stop, stop playing the victim card. I am not playing the victim card. This is not about me playing victim. This is me trying to reach out to another brother that I have considered my friend and still consider my friend and a brother in Christ. That is not me playing a victim here. You are falling into the trap of division here, which is the same trap that Andy Roman has set for you to side with him. You are falling into that same trap. This is not of God. This is the same situation that the disciples were fighting for who shall be the greatest among us. And as Paul says, they were dividing the church. I am of Cephas. I am of Apollos. I am of Paul. And then he asked the question, is Christ divided? Here is the article that he just published in response to my appeal video entitled Plagiarizing or plagiarism is the issue. Amazing Word Ministry has not been the subject of any legal, notice the word, legal action. Some videos were taken down for violating YouTube's guidelines, guidelines that they agreed, meaning Amazing Word agreed, to follow but didn't. Okay, brothers and sisters, let's digest this for a moment. He said, we have not been subject to any legal action. You remember what we read? YouTube says that is a legal action. Contrary to what? And the Roman is saying it is a legal action. Now to understand the process, some of you may not understand this, but to understand the process of filing a uh, claim like this to get YouTube to side with you and to go after somebody else's video, it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of brainwashing at the same time. You have to provide evidence of this and that. There's a lot of questions that is asked. This is the reason why in the email that YouTube sent me that we had attached with the email YouTube sent, not only the name of the person who filed the claim, which is a legal action that is Andy Roman, and also the email address of that person. When you are filing for something like that, for an infringement or copyright infringement, YouTube asks you to make sure that you give your legal name and the name of your company and personal information 
and YouTube tells you if you provide false information, you could be liable for any damage. That is a legal action. But in the article, he says, we have not been subject to any legal action. The videos were taken down for violating YouTube guidelines. So he's saying it's YouTube guidelines that I violated. He has nothing to do with it. This is not the truth, brothers and sisters. YouTube will never take the video down unless there is some kind of claim against the video by someone. And that someone in this case is Andy Roman. Because that's why YouTube sent me the information, the email with the person who filed the claim. By the way, this is for Andy Roman. The same videos, those two videos in question that you file a claim against for copyright, I have them on my backup channels as well. And they are on YouTube backup channels. Will you also file a, a copyright claim against them? Because they have been viewed by so many people already, thousands of people that you don't want to see the message there. Will you also file a lawsuit? You said it's not a lawsuit claim, but whatever you call it, will you also do that? Because those videos are playing in our backup channels. And by the way, that is one of the reasons why we had open backup channels because our channel, the main channel, was being censored by YouTube because for exposing the papacy and for exposing the pestilence and the sorceries of Babylon. As I mentioned before, this channel has been the subject of many attacks over the past years, over the past 12 years. And I'm not proud when I say this, but among Adventist preachers, I am the most hated of the general conference because I have exposed more of their abominable things with Babylon than any other person. So I don't take pride in this, but that is a fact. During this whole pestilence crisis going on, the seven-day Adventist general conference had reached out several times to YouTube to take down my videos that address their apostasy with the power that be, with the Pope of Rome, with the Jesuits, with them promoting the sorceries of Babylon. And then now the last thing I was expecting for something like that to happen from among those who call themselves present truth. Now, this was not the first time that I was being taken advantage of, but I will get to that. Is it the question that I would like to ask? Is it our ministry or is it God's work? Is it uh, something that I do to promote myself or am I here to promote the gospel of Jesus Christ? Whom does the world belong to? Listen to the context here of those passages. The first one is in Job 38, verses 3 through 7. Gird up now thy loins like a man, for I will demand of thee, and answer thou me. Where wast thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? Declare, if thou hast understanding, who hath laid the measures thereof? If thou knowest, that's the question there again, or who have stretched the line upon it? Whereupon are the foundations thereof fastened? Or who laid the corner stone thereof? When the morning star sings together, and all the sons of God shouted for joy. In other words, God is asking us, uh, this world belongs to whom? Is it yours? Or is it God? In other words, is this supposed to be about God or about you? And then notice the next passage here from Haggai, chapter 2, verse 8. The silver is mine and the gold is mine, saith the Lord of hosts. Everything belongs to God. And if we are in ministry, the goal of the ministry should be about glorifying God, not promoting self. When you go to the law, when you go to the world and file such a claim, you are saying that because you did not give me credit for something because of my work, so therefore I'm going to sue you. Yes, it is a legal action that was taken there. That is not true what the article says. Let's go back to his article. Again, 
He said plagiarism is the issue. Amazing Word Ministry has not been the subject of any legal action. Some videos were taken down for violating YouTube's guidelines, guidelines that they agreed to follow but didn't. Then he said, we regrettably, Emmanuel Nuges has once again started taking our, notice the words, our original work sources. Now, I put in quotation mark there, or in parentheses, I should say, spirit of prophecy. Let me pause here. In other words, what Andy Roman is saying, it's his work. If Andy Roman were to publish an article where he quotes some spirit of prophecy, and I were to make a video and I quoted the same thing that he quoted in the article, he's saying that's plagiarism. If Andy Roman, as he's been doing, shares articles from CNN and another source, and if I were to come across the same article and use those articles in one of my videos, he's saying that's plagiarism. Did you know, brothers and sisters, that was the claim that was filed? Because Andy Roman, in two of his articles, he claimed, based on the two videos that he filed claim against, he claimed that I was plagiarizing his work when I, I was not doing any such thing. So does that mean that even the Bible now, if I quote the same Bible text that Andy Roman quote, that he can file a claim? Do you see the insanity in this, brothers and sisters? Listen to what it goes on to say one more time. Regrettably, Emmanuel Nuges has once again started taking our original work. Sources, and I put again in parentheses, spirit of prophecy. And then notice Bible citations. So I cannot quote the Bible. If I quote the same Bible text that Andy Roman quote in his article, that's plagiarism. That's what he's talking about. And again, that's the title for the article that he just published. Do you see the insanity here? So we have to be very careful. If you're not going to give those men credit for what they have done, if we're going to quote the same Bible text, same spirit of prophecy, same articles that they are using from other source, then they're going to go to the world after you. That is a sad reality. Once again, brothers and sisters, it hurts me deeply in my heart to be talking about this. I was shocked when I got the email from YouTube. And some of the messages that I sent to Andy Roman was, I'm confused. I got this email from YouTube stating that you have filed a copyright claim against us. I wanted to know if that was true because I could not believe it. Because I know that YouTube hates our channel. And so maybe YouTube was just coming up with something. <laughs> just to make an excuse to take the channel down again. So I reached out for, to him that way because I could not believe it. So now he's saying that I cannot quote the same Bible text that he quotes in his article. I cannot use the same spirit of prophecy. And it says, and references, entire posting, and is passing them off as his own works in his videos. Do you see it, brothers and sisters? It's not my own works. It's God's work. Those information are public information. Do you understand this? They are public information. This is not a Christian speaking here. This is a business person speaking here. That's not a Christian because those information are public information. So in other words, if Andy Roman could ban me from seeing his articles on his website, he will do it. If he had the power, the Google power, the internet power, he will do it because he doesn't want me to use the same thing that he is using. Do you understand this is insanity? Do you understand that we're not dealing with a Christian here? We're dealing with a businessman? Now, here is my note on this. The reason why this is happening, both Advent Messenger and New Life Mission, again, they are together. They have 501c3. It's a business corporation or incorporation. That's what it is. Those that have filed for 501c3, that have those things, they can go to the law against you for infringement, for copyright. That's what it is. And what is 501c3 again? 
That's putting Caesar above God. That's what it is. That's a marriage between church and state. That's what 501c3 is. And Advent Messenger has that. And New Life Mission, they have that as well. That's one of the reasons why they send you receipts. Because by law, according to Caesar, because Caesar controlled them, that you have to give whoever donates to you receipts. When the Bible says, no, you don't do that. Whatever you give to God, you don't go back and ask for a receipt and then go to Caesar when you file your taxes to try to get it back. No, you wait for God's blessing to come upon you. So all of those ministries that have 501c3, they are following Caesar. This was not the first time, by the way, that uh, they have done. There was another ministry that has done the same thing, taking one of my videos. It's supposed to be Present Truth Ministries, taking one of my videos down because they did not get credit for something that we shared. Now, notice the text here in Luke 9.50. Jesus says here, And John answered and said, Master, we saw one casting out devils in thy name, and we, what are the words, forbade him. Why? Because he followeth not with us. Let's pause. So the disciples did not like the fact that others were preaching healing in the name of Jesus, and, but, they were not following together with them. And so what did the disciples do? They went and complained to Christ. In other words, Master, didn't we copyright your healing miracles? Didn't we copyright your teachings? But those men, uh, we did not give them permission, but they are doing this. Should we take action against them? Should we go to Caesar against them? Let's continue. It says here, because he followeth not with us. And what did Jesus say unto him? Forbid him not, for he that is not against us is what? Is for us. So Jesus says, in other words, there's no copyright in the work of God. In other words, anybody who desires to do this, they can do it, whether they are doing it for evil or for good. As a matter of fact, Paul says something like that. Paul says, we got less off if they're doing for their own selfish interest, the gospel is being preached regardless. So when Andy Roman did this, it wasn't me that was attacked. It was an amazing word ministry that was attacked because the information that I shared in those two videos to God's people, that includes the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's not me that was attacked. I don't take it personal. Again, I have love for Andy Roman. I consider him as a brother in Christ and as a friend so it was not me that was attacked here because once again when he reached out to caesar and had caesar take the videos down it's because andy roman don't want you to see what those videos were about now keep in mind in one of those videos well both actually i was exposing babylon and i was also exposing the conference now somebody asked the question maybe now this is not this is not me asking this this was somebody commenting on that. Is Andy Roman a Jesuit? Is uh, Andy Roman working for the General Conference undercover? I don't know. Maybe he is because this action got me to think the same way as well. Let's continue. In the article, he goes on to say, this is called, he says, plagiarism. Plagiarism is when you take someone's, again, work. That's his work, his own effort. Again, we, we remember Nebuchadnezzar's pride, uh, pride. Remember that? Isn't this the my Babylon that I have built? I have worked so hard for. Remember that? And how did God deal with that? Well, he brought Nebuchadnezzar low for seven years, brothers and sisters. Remember, pride goeth before a fall. Let's continue. This is called plagiarism. Plagiarism is when you take someone's work and pass it off as your own. When you take someone's literary work and use it without permission. Now, in those two videos, again, I have those videos still on. Watch those videos. What work of Andy Roman did I take and then make it as my own? Show me that in the videos. Show me that in the videos. Can he show proof of that? Let's continue. Then he said... It goes on to say here, and don't give 
attribution or credit to the author. Well, and the Roman wants credit. Jesus says, no, we shouldn't ask for credit. We should give God the glory. But and the Roman wants credit. Again, this is not a Christian speaking here. This is a business person. Then it says here, that is copyright infringement, he said, and death of intellectual property, a violation of what? Caesar's law. So he is appealing to Caesar. Let's continue. As Christians, he said, we abide by Caesar's law, especially when it doesn't conflict with God's law. And God's law says, that shall what? Not steal. Plagiarism also violates YouTube's policies, policies that Emmanuel Nugues agreed to follow when he started the Amazing Word Ministries YouTube channel. Now, by the way, Andy Roman, what he is accusing me of, he's been doing the exact same thing. So, as a matter of fact, he told me that YouTube once took one of his videos down because he plagiarized another video. So he said, uh, we have to follow Caesar's law. Well, what does this remind you of? Listen now from John 19 verses 12 through 15. And from thenceforth, Pilate sought to release Jesus, but the Jews cried out saying, if thou let this man go, thou art not Caesar's friend. 501c3, brothers and sisters, when you have that, you are now become Caesar's friend. And so therefore you can go to Caesar and say, hey, I have 501c3. I have uh, copyrighted my work. So therefore, no one else can use it. Even Bible quotes, you cannot use it because he used it in his articles. Let's continue. It says, whosoever maketh himself a king speaketh against whom? Caesar. When Pilate therefore heard that saying, he brought Jesus forth and sat down in the judgment seat in a place that is called the pavement, but in the Hebrew, Gabbatha. And it was the preparation of the Passover in about the sixth hour. And he saith unto the Jews, Behold whom your king. So YouTube has become his king. 501c3 is his king. Let's continue. But they cried out, Away with him, away with him. Crucified him. Pilate saith unto them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priest answered, We have no king but Caesar. Isn't that what uh, Andy Roman just said here? The middle part of this quote, as Christians, we abide by Caesar's law. In what context he said this? Well, in the context to file a claim against Amazing Word Ministry to Caesar, which he said it's not a legal action, which it is a legal action. Action, It is a process. You have to give your legal name, your legal organization's name. You cannot lie at all because there are big consequences if you lie. So that is a legal action because YouTube took a legal action against us because of what he did. So we have no king but Caesar. Remember, brothers and sisters, the worst enemy is not Rome. The worst enemy is within. In this case, see, the worst enemy is not even the general conference. The worst enemies are those who claim to be present truth. Those are the worst enemies in these last days. Remember again, those are the videos in question. Andy Roman does not want you to see this video because, and the information that was shared in the video, because he's not getting any credit for it. That's basically what it is. He wants the credit. If you're not going to give him the credit, then therefore you cannot publish that video because he used the exact same thing in his articles. And the next video is this one. Now remember this one, Sabbath morning, last Sabbath morning, Catholic Crusade World Conversion. And I was exposing both the movement of Rome, causing the world as it is happening today to worship Mary and the Seventh-day Adventists, also consecrating the hymnal to Mary. And the Roman does not want you to listen to this because he's not getting credit for it. So he's working for both Rome and the General Conference, undercover. Now, speaking of plagiarism, because that's the point there he's making. Now, I'm going to share with you some screenshot of Andy Roman, Advent Messenger, YouTube account, where they have taken other people's video, but did not give the author of the video credit for using their videos. Listen now. 
This is one of the videos that they published in March 15, 2022. It's not even their videos. The entire video is not about Andy Roman. It's somebody else's video that Andy Roman published on his YouTube account, calls it Mary Falls Down, but he gave no credit to the author. Remember what he said, what plagiarism? Remember how he was calling us and educating, educating us about what plagiarism is? He says plagiarism is when you take someone's work and pass it off as your own. When you take someone's literally work and use it without permission and don't give attribution or credit to the author. Well, according to the video here that he used on his YouTube channel, I don't see any attribution, any credit to the original author of this video. This is not a video that was produced by uh, Andy Roman. He just used it for his own. Here's another one, which he entitles, Loud Chaotic Rock Music is Being Played at Walla Walla University to Honor the Gods of Rock and Roll. So in this video that he published, again, this is not his video because Andy Roman does not appear in the video at all. The video is entirely someone else's video that he used. Isn't that plagiarism as well? Did he give credit to the author? No, there was no credit on his YouTube there that gave credit to the author. Here's another video that he plagiarized. It is entitled Adventist Chaplain Invokes God's Blessings for the Daytona 500. Again, he plays this video entirely with no appearances of Andy Roman or any of his personal work. This video is all about somebody else's video that he used. Yet he said, he gave us the definition of plagiarism. So he is guilty of the same thing that he himself understood that he was schooling us about. Now, let me show you what Andy Roman has done with New Life Mission and Advent Messenger. And brothers and sisters, this is not about criticizing the man. I'm not going to go there. But because of his definition and accusation of plagiarism, I'm going to show you that we have a wolf among the sheep here dressing himself as present truth preacher. I'm going to show you what Andy Roman did to me. And I never talk about it, even though this was public knowledge, but I did not talk about it. Remember, I was in Australia for over a year and the Roman reached out to me, wanted to work with me, wanted to help me uh, to do things. Even the billboard that we published and the Roman wanted to help out with that. But he gave Amazing Word Ministries no credit for it. He gave all the credit to Advent, Mess or Advent Messenger and New Life Mission. None. Zero. And he opened accounts with all the... Uh, companies under his name and I saw that I was like wow but I didn't you know give it uh, too much uh, thinking I, I we were just working together so it's not about me it's about God but everything was under new life mission and I ha had to pay for everything in spite of the fact that everything was under new life mission then he wanted to put some meetings with me together when I came back to the US. This was last year. So I said, okay. So one of those meetings that we were planning to put together was in Texas, second time in Texas. Now keep in mind, Amazing Word Ministries paid for everything. This was an initiative by Amazing Word Ministries. And the Roman just volunteered himself to help out with that. But as I mentioned before, he took all the credit for everything. And I'm going to show you a video that I published back in uh, April of 2021, announcing the plan that we had to do some evangelistic work in Dallas, Texas. And this is the same time, the same event that Andy Roman said that he wanted to help out with. Listen now. I would like to address the uh, events, the upcoming events, uh, this coming Sabbath, Sabbath 1st, May 1st, 2021. 
in Dallas, uh, Texas. I promised that I would share a little bit more information. So the meetings will start at 9.30 a.m. And we will have a lunch prepared for everybody. That is a plant-based lunch. We will also have a light supper in uh, the evening, late afternoon. Now, we published this video, this announcement video, on April 28th, 2021. Again, this was one of the meetings that Andy Roman wanted to help Amazing Word Ministries out with. Now, this was a meeting that was put together by Amazing Word Ministries, as I announced it on uh, YouTube. Everything was paid for by Amazing Word Ministries. We paid for the uh, uh, hotel that we use, the venue there. And uh, we had uh, some sisters in Texas, uh, Dallas, Texas, who were, were helping us with the food. We pay for the food to accommodate our guests. Everything was paid for, organized by Amazing Word Ministries. The only thing that Andy Roman had help with was to find the venue. But before I go there, let's look, listen to the next clip of the announcement. We are there. also looking at based on request as well some baptism after lunch service or the lunch meal i should say and also because the series the meetings will be focusing a lot on lifting up the standard as we read in isaiah chapter 59 verse 19 it says so shall they fear the name of the lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun when the enemy shall come in like a flood the spirit of the lord shall lift up a standard against him in the afternoon after the lunch is served we are going we have a coordinator we are going to Take some of you out to the community to go door to door to pass out literature. This is the goal of this ministry in light of the current events. To go by God's grace from one place after another. So one more time. This was the announcement for the meetings that I was planning to have in Texas. And the focus of the meetings, as I mentioned here, was evangelism. Now, remember this, brothers and sisters. Before you start taking side on the matter, I'm just presenting the fact to you because the intention of the devil here is to divide us, to polarize us. As the enemy of soul, right now, today, as we are speaking, is dedicating the world to Mary, consecrating the world to Mary. Now, this was the video announcement and the agreement I had with Andy Roman then that the meetings were going to be paid for, everything by Amazing Word Ministries. And then on Friday, this was April 30th, and May 1st was Sabbath when we had the meeting. On Friday, April 30th, one of the sisters there in Texas came up to me and said, Pastor, we just received this flyer in the mail from New Life Mission, which is again together with Advent Messenger and the Roman, stating that they are the ones putting the meeting together. I said, let, let me see this. So they showed me the flyer and I was shocked by what I saw. And I'm going to show it to you. As a matter of fact, this is a copy of the flyer. I kept that because... I had a feeling that one day I might need it to use this. This is the copy of it, of the flyer that was published, that was sent out by mail to thousands of people in the Dallas areas. Here it is on the screen. I screenshot it for you. You can see on the left, it says New Life Mission. And with their address, phone number, and everything. Listen to what it says. It says, Event. New Life Mission will be having an all-day event in Dallas. 
Remember, it's Amazing World Ministries that put the event together. Now, I didn't know what New Life Mission was then. And then I found out that Andy Roman is part of New Life Mission. Then it goes on to say, that's the date, May 1st, 2021, time 9.30 to 6 p.m. Presenters, listen, Andy Roman from Advent Messenger, so he is first. Emmanuel Nugas from Amazing Word Ministries, and then Schedule. And then it says, Song Service, Rodney Henrich, New Life Mission. I was like, wait, pause. Uh, who is uh, Henrich? I didn't know who those people were. And then all of a sudden, it says it's their meetings. Wait, Amazing Word Ministries paid for everything, paid for the venue, paid for the food, paid for everything, even had some volunteers. And then the sisters who were helping were confused. They're like, Pastor, is it you putting the meeting together or is it them? I said, no, it's me. So I called him right away, reached out to him. I said, brother, this is what we just got in the mail. Why are you taking full credit for everything? Oh, he tried to justify. He said, well, I tried to help you. I said, no, you, you're not mentioning what the meetings. Remember, in the video I just played for you, I announced publicly what the meetings were supposed about. But this flyer said, this is about Advent Messenger and New Life Mission. Again, it goes on to say, uh, New Life Mission and then 945 Andy Roman, Ministry Report, Patty and Rich, New Life Mission, Ministry Report. What Ministry Report? This is not about New Life Mission. This was not about New Life Mission. I put the, the meetings together. Amazing Word Ministries pay for everything. I have proof of it and everything, receipts and everything. And the Roman wanted to help out. The point here is, brothers and sisters, is to get free advertisement. It's to get free public advertisement. No, there's no other way to put this. Listen, the flyer went on to say, two o'clock and the Roman will be speaking, then Emmanuel Nugues, and then the place, Sonesta Select Hotel, meeting at the Lone Star Room, and the address there, you could see it, phone number, and etc. Uh, then it says here, we will have, we, meaning New Life Mission, we will have a table filled with free items that our ministry offers. And then New Life Mission is offering a free vegan lunch will be served. New Life Mission did not pay a penny for this. Amazing Word Ministries put the whole thing together. Isn't that plagiarism? Did I take uh, Andy Roman, New Life Mission, and uh, Advent Messenger to the court for plagiarism when I had proof, receipt, and everything that I pay for everything? Hmm? Did I do that? No, I did not do that. Let's continue. It says, come, New Life Mission says, come for a day of sweet spiritual fellowship. We would like to meet all of you in person, Radney and Patty and Richa. So, Who's going to be meeting everybody in person? The Whoever is Radney and Patty and Rich. I didn't even know who those people were. I, all of a sudden, he included those people in this when I was only dealing with Andy Roman. One more time. It's free advertising. Using Amazing Word Ministries to promote themselves. This was not the first time this was done. David House did the same thing to Amazing Word Ministries, to me. And a few others have done the same thing using Amazing Word Ministries for free advertising. In other words, based on the article published by uh, Andy Roman and the action taken yesterday, it's another way of saying what's in it for me. If you're not going to give me credit, then I'm going to go after you. If you're going to quote the same Bible verses that I quote in my article, I'm going to go after you. If you're going to quote the same articles that I use in his article, he's going to come after me. If I'm going to use Spirit of Prophecy quote, the same one, he's going to come after me. Again, if I'm not giving him publicity, and that is one of the reasons why you see him all over the place now with uh, Enriquez, with other places, he's getting publicity. That's what it is. It's all about him. As long as he gets the publicity, Advent Messenger gets the publicity, then he will go along with it. If he's not getting the publicity, then you are a mock person. That's what it is, brothers and sisters. There's no other way to do this. 
it, there's no reason for doing this. And let me show you another what, based on what he explained is plagiarism that I can use as plagiarism. This is Andy Roman, Advent Messenger, some a picture of me and Andy Roman that they publish on their website to get advertisement on March 21st, 2021. Did Andy Roman get permission for me first to do this? No, he did not ask me for permission. He just went ahead and do it. Mm? Isn't that plagiarism? Mm? Because I appear in that picture. It's on his website. You can go to his website and just Google. There's a search there. Andy Roman and Emmanuel Nugas. You can even go on YouTube, or not YouTube, but on Google. Just Google my name with his name together and it will pop up. Did he, did he ask me for permission to do this? To get that free advertisement using me? Again, I'm nobody. I am not anybody. But for you to do things like that, what is it about? Competition? Now we are competing with each other? Mm? Because you want to get my subscribers? You polarizing present truth into two groups? You go into the world? And you're going to justify it, saying that I plagiarize it, plagiarize your work? Listen to what Spirit of Prophecy says from Acts of the Apostles 305, 306. Christians should not appeal to civil tribunals to do what? To settle differences that may arise among church members. Such differences should be settled among themselves or by the church in harmony with Christ's instruction. Whose instruction? Not in harmony with copyright infringement law, not in harmony with uh, YouTube community guidelines, but in harmony with Christ's instruction. Let's continue. Even though injustice may have been done, the follower of the meek and lowly Jesus will suffer himself to be defrauded rather than open before whom? The world, the sins of his brethren in the church. And you have heard, some of you have heard how many have gone in the open air and tried to say all kinds of things about me. They feel justified for doing this. Well, that's going against counsel. That's what it says there. Let's continue. Lawsuits between brethren are a reproach to the cause of truth. One more time. Lawsuits between brethren are a reproach to the cause of truth. Christians who go to law with one another expose the church to the ridicule of her enemies and cause the powers of darkness to triumph. They are wounding Christ afresh and putting him to open shame. So it's not me who is being attacked. It's not about Amazing Word Ministries, really. It's about injuring the cause of God, regardless if I were guilty or not. Amen? Remember, Judas, Judas was a very wicked disciple. Did Jesus expose him to the world? No, he did not do that. Jesus did not do that. He could have done this, but he didn't. Hmm? He did not. When the disciples tried to do something like that, he rebuked them. He rebuked them for doing so. And listen to what the psalmist says here. For it was not an enemy that reproached me. Now, this passage here is dealing with what they did to Christ, what Judas did to Christ. For it was not an enemy that reproached me. Then I could have borne it. Neither was it he that hated me, that did magnify himself against me, then I would have hid myself from him. But it was what? Thou, O man, a man, mine equal, my guide, and my acquaintance, we took sweet counsel together and walked unto the house of God in company. So, as Jesus says, the one who breaks the bread with me has lifted up his heel against me. And Judas went to the religious leaders. That would be the general conference in our days. Remember, in those videos, I was exposing the general conference. 
And the general conference in turn went to Caesar. And they said, we have no king but Caesar. So as Jesus says, I was wounded in the house of my friend. I call him friend. I don't see him as an enemy, but based on the article and the accusation on the article and the action taken by in the Roman, he does not see me as a friend or as a brother. He sees me as a competitor, someone who is a threat to him. So my appeal to Advent Messenger and the Roman and New Life Mission is that let's heed the counsel of God. We are Christian first. When we are using the laws of the land to justify our action, that is not Christ-like. So I appeal one more time to do to end the Roman New Life Mission, Advent Messenger, to do the right thing so that Jesus, not us, may be lifted up. In his name, brothers and sisters, I pray for Andy Roman and for New Life Mission and Advent Messenger. May God richly bless each and every one of you.